So, well, that's a, a bit of uh, a bonus aside of specialty chemicals infrastructure. But I think the infrastructure is set for specialty chemical companies to do well. And I think that point is well taken. Let's get in Ankit Patel, ED of Bodal Chemicals. He joins us right now uh, on the show because, you know, as much as it is for the space, I think for Bodal in particular as well, uh, the last few months have been very, very strong. Ankit, good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. The common refrain that we hear is that the shift from West to East and particularly to India is a great growth space for specialty chemicals by and large and will continue for the next few years. So my question to you is the kind of growth rates that companies such as you or some of your peers are clocking in over the last year, year and a half, are these to stay for the next five, six, ten years? I feel they will remain for uh, at least for a short time, let's say at least three to four years. The main reason is uh, last uh, 10 to 15 years growth of China, where they took over almost all manufacturing sectors worldwide and they controlled most of the sectors in manufacturing. Just like that, they also enjoy around uh, 75 to 80 percent particularly on, in our sector, dyes and dyes intermediates. But since last couple of years, things have changed in China. And uh, the government over there has become very strict about the pollution norms. So the large players of China, as well as the world, they are not able to utilize their uh, capacities fully. And also the new capacities uh, in China have become very hard to get the nod from the government. Uh, comparatively in India, the permissions are a bit easier and uh, that is the main reason why India is uh, getting benefited and the opportunity